Okay, good day. Uh, I'll teach you how to um, install and download the Canvas for students. So you go to the Play Store, then click Canvas or type Canvas and make it sure you select the Canvas student instructor. And it has a color red because for the teachers, it's color yellow. And for the students like you, uh, select the red one. Then click install. Okay, let's wait until when uh, it's done um, downloading and installing. Okay, and it has only 23, almost 24 MB. So make sure you give space in your uh, cell phone. Oops. Okay, so almost done. Sorry, I'm sipping coffee right now. Okay, once uh, downloaded, it will automatically install, and that's it. It's already in installed. Then let's click uh, open. Okay, let's create a new account. So click uh, Find My School. And since our school is not yet registered, though, to the Canvas, I will just type the Canvas. Uh, canvas. So that will become Canvas that instruction. And since we're going to create a new account, then let's click uh, click here. It's free. Read. okay then automatically it will uh, bring you uh, this is supposed to be the website so just click the I I'm a student there okay again uh, be sure that your instructor will give you the code and for example I made a dummy account okay uh, H7 H73Y uh, G then you write your full name so be sure it's your full name so that I could easily uh, track down or track your name and check if it is your really you I style you um, then username okay so remember your username okay so for example my full name will be my yeah I style okay that will be oops uh, so so that I could remember easily uh, shall we say ice okay or I stallion stallion I started in 21 for year 2021. Then my password, um, shall I say my password? Let's make a dummy password. Wait, I could, okay. We have this hashtag, then ID, stood. Okay, uh, let me repeat. So be sure to remember your password. Okay, confirm password. So then your email. Okay. I what must be my dummy email I stallion twenty one at gmail .com. then you click the you agree the terms then you click the start learning so save username and password and uh, for me i think it's best to save okay and there you have it you already have your 
account for now you cannot see uh, the course that made by your instructor because you need to confirm first your email okay okay let's go to your uh, let's go to our gmail account because there will be a email sent to your yeah sent to you and you need to click that email to confirm okay i'll open it another account You need the uh, to verify the email sent to you. Okay, what was my uh, dummy account? Wait, I lost it. So let's ask I Stallion. I Stallion password. Signing in password. Okay. Just keep it if you think you can create <coughs> Oops, what happened? Why it's not working? There you go. I started on. Okay, so there you go. Uh, you click the uh, canvas free. for teacher just pause okay then refresh okay so the reason why it was not uh, after confirming uh, I think uh, uh, the instructor should publish first the course okay you should ask your instructor to publish first the course since uh, earlier we asked uh, we already encoded the code and it so happened that the code after encoding and creating an account <laughs> the courses uh, did not appear because uh, maybe your instructor did not publish yet the course okay so don't worry about it so ask him or her if if he or she already uploaded or published the course so since it was already published then let's try to refresh there you go so I have already the course or the sample subject made by instructor okay so again make it sure that the courses made by your instructor is already published then once it's published you can see now the course there okay